I just saw one of the news articles um, essentially said one of the experts or the, one of the people in charge basically said if she was in there, we would have found her by now. Um, so I want to first check into, is she in that river? Whether or not they'll find her, we'll look into next, but is she in the river? Hanged man. Eight of swords reversed. Six of Swords reversed. And the Empress. Is she in the river? No. No, she's not in the river. She, she's not in the river. She did not fall into the river. She didn't. Um, there was something happened, something that she didn't necessarily see coming, but it looks like she could still gain her freedom. Is she still alive? Seven of swords. Somebody betrayed her. Why am I feeling like somebody took her though? Ten of cups reversed and knight of wands reversed. Somebody's buying time. But I don't think she's I don't think she's in that river. Emperor is coming out with a reverse eight of swords is making me feel like she still could have the potential to gain her freedom back. Like she's trapped somewhere. And somebody's buying time. I don't know. But the original plan was not to have her pass away, but I think something went wrong. But I don't think she's in that body of water. I mean, I guess there's a chance that she's in there now. And what I'm seeing is that she wasn't originally put in there. But they've been searching it so much that I don't know how that would happen. So I'm leaning more towards she's not in that river. She did not just fall in the river. Somebody took her out of there somehow. Or unfortunately, that could potentially mean that when her body is located eventually, that there will be some kind of clue as to what happened to her. It's chained. They, they, they took her. They bounded her somehow. They, I don't know. How, I can't see how they did it because it's in public. But it wasn't just like push her into the river. That wasn't it. So far we have when her work call began... The chariot reversed is a lack of movement. So it's like when she picked up the phone to start the work call, they stopped walking. Or maybe they weren't making as much like ground, like traveling as much ground. But um, especially because this card has two horses on it. So to me, it's saying like from the dog's point of view, okay, I saw her answer the phone. She's communicating with someone on the phone. And then we stop. We stop walking. Phone was on a work call. Stopped walking or slowed down or something. I, I'm feeling like she came to a stop somewhere. Seeing her slowing down on the call, but then stopping. By something. Like she stopped by something. The Eight of Swords is the next card and that's being trapped. And then we have the 10 of swords reversed that I can't pick up, there we go. It, it's almost like, it 
It's almost like she was grabbed and got away or like Oh my gosh, she's, tr the, the, it's the dog. The, okay, so someone lures her or takes her and releases the dog, but takes her. It's like she had the dog with her approaching the person, person takes her and like, I don't know if they like push the dog or like just direct the dog. Isn't, th is there a fence? I looked at a picture and I can't remember if there was a fence or a gate, like a gate. What I'm seeing is it's like she's walking, walking the dog, takes the work call, isn't walking as fast on the work call, which makes sense because if you're on a work call, you're not going to be necessarily jogging. But like she slows down, but then she stops for some reason. But she didn't stop because she wanted to stop. She stopped for some reason. Because like it wasn't like she was stopping because of the work call because the work call had already been happening and she was continuing to walk just slowly. But something caused her to stop. Something causes her to stop. Someone takes her. Either takes her or lures her. It's almost like they get her close to some kind of fence or gate. And then real quick push her in but don't let the dog in. Like, oh, come over here, blah, blah, blah. She comes close, gate opens, she comes in, gate closes, dog's on the other side of the gate. That's what we see so far. And then we have the tower in reverse, which is about averting disaster. Another reading about this case. For some reason it's just like calling to me. I just asked if she was buried and we got no, and then we got underwater. But not in that body of water they're searching. Travel. <laughs> She's in the water, but not in the water they're searching. Travel. Yeah, different body of water. So we have north and 20. North and 20. So her phone is found there. North, north from the spot that her phone was found. Travel. Under underwater yeah she she was taken somewhere else and put in the water honestly um she's in water but she's not in the water that they're looking in it's almost like the person who is responsible for this is kind of like hoping that they'll just get tired of looking in water because they looked in this water for so long and got it wrong um, if there's another body of water about 20 miles away, I would say they should probably search that. 20 days. 20. I know it has to mean something. We just got to find out what it means. 20 she went missing on friday january 27th i believe that she is in the water but not where she went missing i believe she was taken somewhere else and put in the water um i'm gonna roll the directional dice just to see in which direction is the body of water from where she went missing that she's at now northwest Let me pull some clarifiers for that. Northwest. Five of Cups reverse moving on. This is confirming Northwest. So we'd be looking at a body of water Northwest from where she went missing. 
that's not extremely far, but I would say it is deep enough or has some kind of connection to a bigger body of water. She might not still be in that body of water, but I believe that that's where she was put in. I believe she is in a body of water northwest from where she went missing. Hello, hello. Today we are going to be doing, this isn't gonna be very long, but I do wanna go over something that came out in the Nicola Bully case. I did a reading two days ago and I made directional cards and the number 20 came out. After rewatching the video, I noticed that not only did the 20 come out when I shuffled and pulled the cards, but the 20 jumped out of the deck the second I asked about the bench that her phone was found on, one. And two, when I was showing what the deck was, because I made this deck myself, I was showing what the different options were within that deck. And I also just happened to, out of 78 cards, show the 20. So now it comes out that 20 days into the investigation, now they are coming out more or less victim blaming um, that she had problems with alcohol stemming from menopause. This came out exactly 20 days into the investigation. Not only that, but in the press conference, they said that her phone was left on the bench. Remember I said the, the number 20 card came out when I mentioned the bench. They're saying that it was put on the bench at 9.20. I'm gonna insert the clips so you can see what I'm talking about. Uh oh, so I made these cards. Um, it was like a regular deck of cards that I had that I wanted to do something with, wasn't sure what to do with it, but I made these. And it's similar to the directional dice that I have, but um, there's like Southwest, um, some of them say like draw one more card, some of them say different measurements like 20, um, there's feet, there's trap, so just pulling two of these and then we'll pull tarot to confirm what we see and then we'll pull directional dice. So two cards, what can we know about where Nicola is in reference to the park or like the in reference to the bench where her phone was left so, okay that came out quick 20 okay under mm. 20 and under 20 and under 20 and under Um, okay, so now I'm gonna pull tarot clarifier for the 20. Eight of swords reversed, freedom and escaping. 20. It's also, mm, it's also a release, 20. Clarifier for under. King of Cups reversed. And the Empress reversed. Under, I believe, is referring to her being underwater at this point, um, unfortunately. The um, bike on this is almost making me feel like a, a boat, like a, mo like a motorboat was how, what can we know about if there was a motorboat involved? Some kind of boat with a motor. Queen of Cups, water, woman, water. Yeah, it, it does seem like Maybe the, maybe the perpetrators came there in the boat so they weren't seen on land or maybe they took her 
from a boat. I don't know what would be possible based off of where the CCTV cameras are. If it, if I would say if it, if it's possible that she could have been taken on boat without being seen, I believe that that is what this is referring to. If that's not possible where it's like she would have definitely been seen leaving in this boat, then I do feel as though the people that took her came on a boat, a motor boat. Time around. She, as in Nicola, was screaming, trying to get us to pay attention to the 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. Something about 20 is so important here. And the person who was literally in charge of diving and searching the water for her was not told that she was high risk until 20 days after she had been missing and after he had concluded his search. He says that normally if someone was high risk like that, he would be told about it because there is different protocol or different strategy to search when someone is believed to be high risk versus when they're not. Um, so a little weird, right? Um, Nicola wants us to focus on the number 20 because there's something relevant. Which is it? Is she pointing towards the information released on the 20th? So is she pointing towards that incident that the police had to be at the house for? Or is she pointing to saying, okay, on the 20th, they're releasing this information. Now you're going in the right direction.